Welcome Wild Dogs to another awesome week of programming. It is Monday, first off, happy Father's Day for the dads in our group for yesterday. That is done and dusted though, and we're going to move forward. Today's workout is going to be a massive effort. It's going to be nice and long. The actual workout is going to be 40 minutes. You're doing a 40 minute Elon. That's obviously excluding our warm up. All right. We're going to go straight ahead and look at your warm up. What I want you to do is if you have a skipping rope, you can grab that. If you have a bike, you can get ready on the bike. All right. And then if you have space to run, then you can run as well. All right. So we'll meet back here in a sec once you get all that stuff ready. All right. So what we're going to do is set a timer score for two minutes. So you're going to do consistent skipping for two minutes. You're going to be on your bike for two minutes, or you're going to do two minutes of consistent running. All right, so the running, you're probably looking at about 400 meters if you don't want to run with your time or anything like that. All right, once you come back, we're going to set a timer to go for 20 seconds, 20 seconds, 20 seconds, 20 seconds. That's going to be our interval. How it works is you're going to be doing hip flexor stretch and then a pigeon pose. All right, those are going to be our two stretching movements. We're going to do three, four rounds of all of that together. All right, so running, pigeon pose, and hip flexor. Over and over and over again. Obviously, your cardio will depend on what you have available to you. All right, so we're going to go have a look at that quickly. Now, part A, like I said before, is a 14 minute EVOM. Every minute is going to have two movements designated to it, and there's going to be four working movements or oh, uh, minutes. So it's going to be minute one, minute two, minute three, minute four, and each one of those is going to have two movements that you have to perform with it. There's going to be no designated rest period, however, you will have enough time to rest in between each uh, four arms, right? Especially that last minute or four right? So. The movements are, in the minute one, you're going to have to perform 10 air squats plus 10 jumping squats. So 10 air squats, 10 jumping squats. Those are all going to be in the first minute. In the second minute, you're looking at 10 push-ups plus 10 shoulder touches. In minute three, you're looking at 10 sit-ups and 5 V-ups. And our last one, the fourth minute, is 5 pike push-ups and then 5 inch work. All right. You're going to have to perform all of that every minute on the minute and then repeat over and over and over again until you've completed 14 minutes in total. All right? It's going to start off feeling really easy and it's going to progressively get more and more difficult. All right, now that we've gone through the structure of the workout, we're going to go ahead and look at the demo of the movements. All right? 